At first glance, what's happening out here is hours and hours of nothing much happening out here. Life drifts by at a leisurely pace. But if it all looks like a lazy summer's day, look again, because something important is going on, even if it looks suspiciously like everyone's goofing off. This turtle, for starters, is furiously beavering away, appearances to the contrary, starting a family, laying her eggs. And if there are turtles lying about, hard on their heels is Ron Brooks. You can feel the eggs if you put your hand in there, their little, little legs there. She's tagged. This tag was put on 1983, but she was originally marked in 1978, so we've been following her for 13 years. For 20 years, Brooks has been studying turtles here in Algonquin Park. His work is probably one of the most detailed on the continent. Turtles are creatures full of mystery. Even their age is a puzzler. At the outside, what could they be? 100, yeah. They're still fertile. Yep, that's the thing we're trying to look at. Do they change, you know, or start losing their fertility, or do they skip years as they get older, but it doesn't seem to make any difference. But turtle populations worldwide are dropping dramatically, and just guess why. People, just plain and simple. In some Ontario lakes, turtles have fallen by 65% in the last two years alone. The villains are... Golf courses, military firing ranges, grazing cattle, agricultural practices, pet store uh, hunters all of which are absent here in Algonquin, a laboratory in the wilderness, which lets Ron Brooks and his staff track their subjects in splendid isolation. Meet Bert, the patriarch of the pond. This is a uh, male called Y11. He's originally tagged in 1975. Everybody's given him the nickname Bert for Burt Reynolds is the handsomest turtle in the lake. It's actually, underwater, he looks more like the guy from Friday the 13th, that Freddy guy. Ironically, turtles are a tough lot. They've survived since prehistoric times, coping with everything down through the eons until now. Bert and the others need isolation, apparently, away from the rest of us. Dan Bjarnason, CBC News, Algonquin Park.